Yo, what's going on everybody? It's our pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube, aka Mr. 2K. Um, I'm having a ball saying that, it's so funny. But uh, today I want to give you guys my thoughts on the gameplay that was released today. Um, this was released by IGN, but you know, it's all good. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about everything that I see. Also, to address a few things that people have, like problems, we're going to get into that right here, right now. Now, the first thing that I want to say is, a lot of people say that the gameplay looks good, but the visuals and, you know, stuff like that, and the way the players look, it doesn't look good. Now, of course, we know that this is not the final gameplay. And the reason being is, oh, LeBron with that spin move. Hold on. Let me talk about that. He had our test. Oh, my bad. Meta World Peace on skates. But basically, this gameplay is not the final cut. See, what, what happens is 2K told us that they are in a stage called polishing, which means they polish the gameplay. Oh, whoa, whoa. The white, are you all right? That was a crazy animation right there. But basically, look how long it takes the white to get down court. He doesn't have any type of speed burst. All right, we, we like that right there with the speed. But uh, basically, guys, it's not polished. This gameplay may be uh, beta, it may not be, it may be, it may be the final cut, but just not polished. Because um, I have a couple other pieces of gameplay, of course from the Kinect trailer, where we saw actual gameplay and we saw people's faces, we saw their hair, and it looked a whole more, a lot more in tune. So, I just want to, you know, get my my thoughts on the way everything is playing so far. The dribble moves look good. Look at the uh, Euro step. He got it off, but he got contact. You know, usually if you do a, a Euro step and you get contact, your Euro step is done. You go into a stupid animation. You throw the ball up, and it's a no call. With that, he still got the animation off, and it was great contact. That's what I like to see right there. Now check out the up and under. The computer is even passing out of shots. The computer isn't committing to just one play, but let's see what happens here. That little fade that Nas just shot and made, some people will call that shot clock cheese. Me, myself, I do call it shot clock cheese because I have never seen a player do a fadeaway three-pointer and make it while a defender, even though that defender jumped late, just nailed it in between their eyes. But, you know, it is the computer. The user is the Miami Heat, so you can see the type of moves that this player is pulling off. He got our test on skates. Our test does not know what to do. Did you also see that bump animation where he crossed back and then spin moved out of the out of trouble? I'm telling you guys, the, the dribble moves are a whole lot more fluid this year. You can also see that the computer is trying to run plays and trying to get people open. Now look at Kobe in the post. Obviously, he didn't want to engage, so Kobe used him with the backboard jumper. That's so like Kobe right there. I'm liking the way the computer is playing so far. It's looking pretty good. Now, with the user, the user is trying to get to the rim. We all know why. Because he wants to dunk on people. But check out that nice little step back shot. Had Kobe on skates a little bit. Some people would say that the defense is non-existent in this gameplay. But what you have to understand is, maybe this person is playing on pro. We won't know until they shoot their first foul line shot. Which, of course, there's only one foul in this gameplay, but it's worth it. So we will see when that person shoots the foul line shot, what type of uh, time is on the clock. We all know that 5 seconds is for Hall of Fame. 10 seconds is for All-Star and Superstar. And 15 seconds is for Pro. So, just check out LeBron. Uh, what the user is trying to do is use all types of dribble moves to get past defenders. Paul Gasol wasn't biting that time, but somehow he got the shooter's roll. Now, the computer, on the other hand, they don't want to dribble out the clock. They're trying to execute good plays. Like, notice once he goes to the one side of the court, players start moving. Players start roaming around. Players start really acting like they do in their NBA selves. Check out the white trying to get in the paint, trying to get out the paint before the three seconds. That's what the computer is trying to do. Also, check out Paul Gasol. He didn't commit for that second uh, rebound, but it's all good. What we're trying to see here is what the computer can and cannot do. Now, you you check out the fail uh, attempt on the alley-oop. A player didn't just jump out of nowhere and take that out of bounds. Like, what happened was a player actually reacted to him throwing the alley-oop, and the guy just happened to miss it. Now, let's see what Battier does for three. 
he misses the shot now this is all user based hopefully you know if that was the computer he would have made the shot or missed it as well but Kobe is going absolutely ham I will say that Kobe Bryant this game the computer holy cow I have never seen nothing like it like Kobe was just going absolutely ham but let's check out LeBron in the post a little bit of post engage giving our test hell one thing I will say about the user that played this game because we don't know who played this game it could have been LD it could have been a developer could have been Ronnie 2k could have been anybody but the user definitely knows what he's doing in the post with LeBron definitely got the shots off now the computer they're playing a little bit realistic now I don't know why Dwight Howard was coming out to the three but he always knows to go in the paint like Dwight when he comes out to the three-point line he knows like hey you know what I'm not supposed to be up here let me take my behind back down to the paint now look at this alley you but he missed one thing I will say is that's that's cool because a player was in his trajectory so you know he 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 could have or couldn't have made the alley-oop dunk but that was a great alley-oop also when he threw it up it, the ball kind of still sat there in, the, in midair waiting for the player to get their animation off but that's pretty good check out the nice engaging tactics that uh the computer is using against lebron trying to deny him but check that move out what a move uh, talk about a spin move out of a standing position literally guys that was a spin move from him standing still he jab step spin move and went baseline that is a great animation that is great gameplay and the person that's using the sticks was probably psyched as much as i am from that move now let's check out kobe kobe is passing the ball getting himself set and ready for the plays engaging the post kobe pops out to the middle that's basketball right there that really looks like basketball. Kobe went from the top of the key to the three-point line, went down in the paint, popped out to the middle, and got a shot off. It's looking pretty good. The gameplay so far is looking good. But did you check out that move? He is, see, one thing that I will say is speed is a very big factor in this game. A very big factor. If you ain't fast, you're going to get torched. It's that simple. Now, hold on. Now, you check out this foul line shot, right? You notice how it's stuck on 24 seconds. Ah, hold up. It's stuck on 24 seconds. So, how would people depict if we're playing on Hall of Fame or not this year? I guess you might just have to take our words for it. Or, this may be a beta, ver a beta version, and that just hasn't been implemented in this version yet. It's so many factors that can be taken into this. But check out that fail alley-oop attempt by the computer. You never see stuff like that. You never see the computer trying to go for an alley-oop. But, if you think about it, Dwight Howard can catch anything. But, I guess that was just a little bit too high for him. But the user coming down, see the way he moves his hands and calls out the play, tells everybody move out the way or you get to your right spot. You check out that bump animation, right? Check out these bump animations. He wanted to do a bounce pass, but that wasn't right. Now look at Kobe going into the paint for the dunk and he misses the dunk. I wonder what the sliders are on this game <laughs> because I don't, I've don't. i never seen Kobe miss a wide open dunk like that in 2K. Maybe he's just been using too much stamina, whereas though the dunk won't go down like it usually would. Now check out LeBron. Did you see that move, people? Look at this nonsense. A Euro step dunk after in and out on Artest. I'm telling you, LeBron, he basically can do anything he wants this game. As long as Artest is guarding him, he can do whatever he feels. Goodness gracious. But check out Kobe on a nice little ISO. Everybody is on one side of the court. But you notice people are still moving around down bottom. It's not all just set on people standing around wanting to do things. Look at that. Antoine Jameson for three. Even though the computer missed, that would have been a great play right there by the computer. Now look at this. Kobe Bryant, 10 points, 5 for 7, going ham. But let's check out D-Wade calling out the plays. Look at the dribble moves right here going between his legs. Nice little hesitations. Crossovers, in and outs. Oh, did you see the way that somebody tapped the ball, but he looked like he almost lost it, but regathered. But check out Kobe. He was on skates for a little bit. But it's only three seconds on the clock. He got to pull it, and he missed. But it's all good. That's how the gameplay goes. Check out the fast break. Check out how people aren't catching up to people and getting to the paint. You guys got to look at that, man. Real basketball out here now. Now, we got, uh, I think that's Chambers. Yeah, Chambers is, uh, 
Coming down court, D-Wade. Oh, did you see that move? If he would have got enough space on that hesitation and drive, that would have been nice. But uh, basically, he's just trying to pass it all over the court, show you guys that passing has been fixed, you know, that people ain't just getting it out of midair on you. Now, Chambers, he couldn't make that. Antoine got, Jameson got the rebound, and they back down on the break. But let's see that. Nice little bump animation. Kobe created the space himself. He got bumped. He said, okay, I got bumped. I'm going to pull it. Sometimes that's what you got to do. If you got enough space, why not just pull it, man? All right. Now, uh, nice little pass right there. That was a nice little uh, pump fake hesitation drive. Oh, whoa. Did you see that move right there? It looks like the user. I know a lot of people are going to have questions about that move. It looked like the user, as soon as he saw the right space he went for a euro step and he just got bumped at the end but i'm out y'all